Hey everyone, wanted to come to you from the wonderful reading corner that uh, my wife has created for us uh, to enjoy in our home. Big reason why I wanted to come in today is to share our story. Um, why Coffee for Everyday Use exists, what it's about, and what we want to do through these videos, through the podcast, uh, through all of our links that we're sharing from our blog and from other in interactions and uh, resources that we have. Before we go any further, um, if you have not already liked and subscribed to our channel, um, make sure you're clicking that subscribe button that's going to be either right down in the uh, right hand corner of this video or just a little bit further down uh, in the description area. Um, we want to make sure that you're getting the freshest content with each and every week that follows um, so that you can stay up to date and so you can up your game when you're brewing coffee. Uh, as we have been on this wild, awesome journey of uh, sharing brewing guides, product reviews, uh, everyday use, which was our series back in January, you can find that on the main channel page. Um, as we have been on this wild journey about coffee, through coffee, talking about coffee, um, I wanted to kind of come in and talk about why coffee for everyday use. You see, back in June into July, so late June, early July, I was working in a shop where we had customers who would come in and say, I don't know what it is about this coffee, but it's delicious. I don't know much about coffee, but I just know that it tastes good. Um, there was almost a lack of education and a lack of understanding about what coffee was. They would walk in, they see the roaster that uh, we were working with, they saw our machinery, they saw how much care and uh, concern we had for the coffee itself, but there was a barrier that existed. We had the information, they didn't, and they didn't know how to get the information that they wanted or that they needed to understand what coffee was. So as a former business to business coffee salesman, um, a manager of coffee shops, uh, a green buyer, I bought green coffee. I did all of these things in the coffee industry, uh, including roasting. It was finally time to put all of this information into one volume, one place, and ultimately into a book. I've always had a dream to write a book, and this presented itself as an opportunity to do just that. So sat down, uh, and it took me about two weeks to write the book that inspired this whole movement, community, whatever you want to call it, um, which the link to the book is in the description below. So make sure you uh, go and get your copy if you haven't already. There is also a Kindle version if you're interested. But we uh, we wrote this book, we edited it, we sent it off to Amazon to publish for us, and September 1st, we launched the book. Now, a book is kind of a final thing. Uh, you can make second editions, third editions, whatever. But uh, in order to continue the conversation, we also launched a podcast to expound upon the ideas that we had in the book and give a little bit more dynamic movement to this whole idea of coffee being accessible to everyday drinkers, no matter what their situation is. So we went on a journey talking about the ideas in the book, beginning of the podcast, we also have an Instagram and a Facebook um, to share all of these pictures and to share thoughts and to make sure that you have all the resources you need to make good coffee and make good coffee decisions. Um, the mission and vision of Coffee for Everyday Use is making coffee more accessible to the everyday drinker through tips, tricks, resources, and more. Uh, we share tips on all of our platforms, uh, giving you different ideas about how to grind your coffee better or how to uh, be more precise with your pouring. Tricks on how to, um, like we posted a few months ago, how to like spin the brewing method to get all of your coffee properly saturated when you're um, blooming the coffee and getting it ready to be fully brewed. We have resources like this video right here, like the YouTube channel, the blog, the Twitter and the, or the Instagram and the Facebook. Uh, as well as the podcast and so much more um, through being able to share experiences that we have in the real world in the coffee industry and ultimately to bring the idea of coffee to a more approachable level. You see, the coffee industry can sometimes be a little bit mystical and almost unattainable if you don't have the right level of access. If you're not working in the industry, if you're not buying all the resources in the books, if you're not um, 
watching all of the videos, all three of these things, and so much more. Sometimes you can feel left behind if you're not in the know on everything. So we wanted to create this channel. We wanted to give you, the everyday coffee drinker, whether you're coffee excited, coffee curious, or I just drink coffee to get through my day. Um, we wanted to give you these resources to share the love of coffee with you so that you can be um, passionate and excited and prepared no matter what you encounter when it comes to coffee. So I hope that you are enjoying what we're doing. I want you to come along this journey with us as we seek to make coffee more approachable. If you are enjoying these things, um, make sure that you are, like we said earlier, subscribing to the channel, liking this video, commenting what you think about this whole coffee for everyday use thing. One thing that you're learning about coffee uh, as you've either gone through this journey with us or if you're new to, uh, to the community. But either way, show us what you're thinking, what you're learning, and what you're doing when it comes to your coffee. Uh, head over to Facebook and Instagram, follow and like us there, uh, and share this video. Uh, actually, it's over here, not over there. Uh, but make sure you're clicking the share video, copying that link, and send it to one friend uh, so that they can come along the journey with you as well. Stay tuned for more videos and resources. Head over to the blog and follow us there. And as always, happy brewing.